you're watching is real footage of swimmers drowning in rip currents. None of these people meant to put themselves in harm's way, but they all made the mistake of swimming on beaches without lifeguards. And it's likely that none of them knew what a rip current was or how to spot one. Put simply, rip currents are channels of fast-moving water that extend from the shoreline out beyond the breaking waves. To spot a rip current, look for deeper, darker gaps between breaking waves or channels of churning, choppy water, often containing large amounts of sand near the surface. Don't become another rip current statistic and don't put yourself in a position where a member of the public has to come to your aid. Grab the board, turn around. Swim only on beaches with lifeguards. If you see someone in trouble, even if it's your child, don't rush in. Far too many people tragically drown while trying to save others. Call for help from a lifeguard. If a lifeguard is not available, contact first responders. And if you have to go in the water, make sure you take a flotation device. The best way to react when caught in a rip current is to float, try to relax, and signal for help. I'm Professor Rob Brander from the UNSW Beach Safety Research Group in Sydney, Australia. And you can find out more about rip current safety from these free educational websites, scienceofthesurf.com and ripcurrentsafety.com.